Welcome, my name is Liz johnson Iden, and I'm researching health inequalities that affect diverse communities living and working in Somerset. I'm working as part of Somerset Diverse Communities within the Community Council for Somerset. And this focus is um, helping to uh, inform uh, commissioners or health services um, that are, are, will be commissioning services in the future. And we want to make sure that it includes uh, the needs of all people living in Somerset, including diverse communities who may have different needs, uh, increased vulnerabilities or risks that uh, or may not know what services are available and information the, that they need to access those services. And this is um, funded through Somerset County Council and NHS Somerset. There are four areas of the research, that's mental health, sexual health, domestic violence, and access to health services, including vaccinations. Mental health, um, well, I should say that uh, these are difficult areas to talk about and many cultures and religious communities see them as a taboo or stigma or accepting of levels of abuse that is not acceptable in the UK. And some of the issues around access is around ensuring information and understanding of the support that is available. And this is a step towards that, but it is not the only step. We have a directory of information so sources and support services that are available to help with some of the trans some with translation options. And that is on our website, which you'll see later. We also have podcasts where local people talk about their experiences of the health services and a survey if you want to get involved in the research or tell your story. Inequalities in mental health have been well researched nationally and shows that some communities experience very different services based on stereotypes and assumptions by health professionals and by the communities themselves, which can lead to late interventions and poor diagnosis. And some communities have very low levels of reporting of mental health issues, but relatively high levels of suicide. And if we can address the reasons behind the reluctance to reach out for help before reaching this level, there is a chance that we will find another way to address their mental health issues. And in Somerset, we have Mind in Somerset and Open Mental Health who can help. So um, these are uh, national suicide prevention, ser prevention services, which may be useful. And um, some of them are 24 seven. Uh, I'm not aware that any of them have translation services, but it's always worth asking if you need it. Sexual health. Well, what is sexual health? It covers contraception, sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV, AIDS, and uh, various other things really, including uh, unwanted pregnancies. And it's looking at your reproductive health. And this can be found and help can be found through swishservices.co.uk, uh, which is um, for local services and support and includes a translation, translation section uh, where it says select language. And uh, this is it in Polish to prove it works. And uh, contraception is free in the UK and does not always have to be involving your GP if it would be helpful if you wanted to avoid that connection. Domestic violence, as it says, uh, there are a lot of people that are victims of domestic abuse each year, and uh, um, nearly all of them recorded by the police are domestic abuse related. Uh, there have been rising numbers during lockdown, um, which is cause for concern. And it's also useful to know that um, the law has recently changed. Um, NCDV uh, mentioned here can offer you legal support if that's what you need as well. We also have um, various support services here. Just to explain that the new uh, Domestic Abuse Act uh, looks at physical and sexual abuse, violent or threatening behavior, controlling or coercive behavior, which is sometimes quite difficult to to see um, economic abuse, which is about controlling all your finances and access to money, 
um, and psychological, emotional or other abuse. And uh, it's not acceptable in this country. Um, people who are carrying out the behavior um, don't have to be living with you. It could be somebody, it has to be somebody personally connected to you, but it could be your ex-partner or family members that are not living with you at the time of the abuse. And it's also important to know that uh, children under 16, it will be seen as child abuse rather than domestic abuse. But uh, if a child witnesses that abuse, then they will be affected long term and they are treated as part of the, the case in, with the police. You should also know that uh, the police will believe you and they will investigate and they will be support for you. So you shouldn't be scared to um, seek help. And we have Somerset Survivors website here, which is the local one for Somerset. And uh, they can give you a lot of help if you need it. If it's um, if you're in immediate danger, dial 999, of course. Access to health services, including vaccinations, and as it says, not just COVID. There are a number of vaccinations, including childhood and uh, routine vaccinations, which are important to keep up with. Um, anyone can register with their GP in the UK and it's free. Um, you don't need to show any proof of address or immigration status or anything like that. And uh, you can register with the local one uh, or you can choose one that's slightly further away, although they may not be able to offer uh, home calls if you needed that in the future. Uh, dentists are similar in the way that you register, although it's slightly more difficult because there is a shortage of NHS dentists that are accepting new patients. So you may have to join a waiting list or you can be seen privately or there are emergency dental surg um, surgeries that you can access. As I say, vaccinations are particularly important and there has been a problem with, well, a problem, uh, a lower take up of childhood vaccinations, including measles and mumps and rubella, which is normally taken together. But measles can cause deafness, blindness, um, and can be fatal in some cases. And those, there has been considerably more outbreaks of that, and also of TB as adults or children, and uh, all can be um, avoided through vaccination. So it's worth looking at that. And there are also, uh, information if you're concerned about taking the COVID vaccinations and uh, information there to help you decide whether it's the right thing for you to do. And uh, there are also, that's more or less it from me, but there are opportunities to take part in this research. Uh, as I said before, we have a survey which will be online or I can do that in person with you or as a group. And we'd love to do those more surveys. The more we get, the more information we can give to the commissioners. Uh, I can do interviews again via Zoom or Teams or in person. And we are recording podcasts. There are a few already available and we'll be adding more as time goes on. And if you're interested, please contact me and I will be very delighted to work with you. And what next? Well, it's up to you really. Um, take part, uh, follow us, do whatever, but uh, the more information you can give us, the better. And you can contact me by email at lizj at somersetrc.org.uk or you can give me a call on 07495 177 012. Thank you.